I looked up on GameStop, they were selling it for like $35. What, the whole game? Yes. <laughs> hey, oh, it's it, 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 for a new it, update. Wait, wait, it, it's for, it's for PS4. It's for PS4. This new update is 20 games. Yeah, they had a gun game. So... Is this? Wait, what? I don't know if the demo is finished by the end, but I'll definitely be playing tomorrow with the new GPU. I don't Harry, think... have you been, Harry, think... have you been playing in night mode the whole time? Yeah. Have we been playing together at all? Oh my god, we haven't. No. What the f what? I can leave. I'm not doing that good. No, I'm joining you. No, I left. <laughs> turn up. Probably best turn up we've ever had so far. Yeah. Had about 26 people for the 7 oh. o'clock showing and about for 16. What? Oh, oh, it chapter shit. 2. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's the, long... week, it's the week before like Thanksgiving, so. Longest showing we've ever had. This It was about 2 hours, 45 minutes. People it was so long. Playing. It was so long that people that showed up for the 9.30 showing had to wait like 10-15 minutes for the 7 o'clock showing to finish. You guys don't time those to the movies? No, it's just 7 and 9.30 every time because I don't think they've ever really had an issue with the movie being over 2 hours, <laughs> two hours and 30 minutes long. What if the movie's like an hour long that you just sit there? Yep, you just sit Harry. there. Harry. Harry. Makes sense. Uh, give me a second. I joined you. It says you're full. You're pre-game lobby. What's Can up, you leave? Bro? Made a bunch of popcorn for the 9.30 showing, and then, like, nobody grabbed a bag of it at all. You got D Harry DMs? Come on. Wait, what? Oh, whoops, hold on. Fuck. <laughs> Just the same thing. That's not. It was a base number. <laughs> A base specific number. 
cleaned out my keyboard today, but I didn't have any keyboard duster, so I had to do it all manually. Actually, let me think about it. I hold use on, like hold a, on. Uh, Actually, no, up. hold on. Hold Stop on. trying to guess. Don't guess. I'm guessing right now. I'm not going to tell you. It's he obvious he makes 125000 no, no. a year. <laughs> no, he said, I remember, he said he was going to make... Give me a second. His last one was 80k. So I know this one, if he I got know, more, I know it's at least 120. No, I know exactly how much. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm tired of you being coy, Harry. Stop teasing. <laughs> You're such a tease. It doesn't matter. He plays coy, and I love it. <laughs> Give me a second. Since I had a right dollar now. for every one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars Harry makes in a year, I have one dollar. <laughs> All right, how much do you think he makes? Uh -oh. What? Me? Yeah. One hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Wait, what? Why is that? <laughs> because at his last job, he was making eighty, and he told me that this one he got like way more. It's a complicated algorithm I'm using. <laughs> I don't understand it. Not even Harry would understand the algorithm I'm using to compute his wage. That's why he's so stunned every time I say the number 125,000 because he's like, "Fuck, he's right." <laughs> exactly. I, I think you might be on. It. I think you You're might not the be same on the. Thing, Harry. I got you. Okay. I I've never not regret telling people how much I make. Even other software engineers. Even other coworkers. Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, 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 I said hold share up. that shit with your coworkers. See if you know if you're getting shortchanged and you're working at the same company. No, because my coworkers make less than I do, so it's weird. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. But they're like people who's starting out, right? Well, they're salespeople, so they have commissions and shit. It's more complicated. <sighs> okay. They're just the only... objectively not as valuable as people. All right. And then there's other everybody people knows, who work in like support and stuff. And they everybody make, like, knows not good about. Them. Everybody knows computer scientists are God's favorite people. <laughs> That's why God chose to make them so rich. <laughs> the nerds rise. <laughs> okay. What I'm trying to nerd. say is, uh, Harry said he was willing to make. Uh, enough to afford a dual motor all wheel drive cyber truck <laughs> in half a year, which is 50k. I'll note that that was after taxes. This is after ca taxes. Humble brag. <laughs> that was kind of humble. So, with that said. Hey, Not gonna like lie, I don't. I don't mean to brag, but I'm probably the richest person here. <laughs> Come on, that dude. isn't hard. <laughs> like, I don't mean to be a dick or anything, but I'm like way richer than all of you. So, like, uh... okay. What I'm saying is, he makes like a hundred two thousand per year. Around a hundred thousand. Hey, Am Joe, I what right? are you drinking tonight? You never I did say. I pissed it away. What? You said on your. Not away. you. What you say? What are Harry? you drinking tonight? PBR. What did you say, Harry? Sorry, I pissed it away. Piss it away! Piss it away! Piss it away now! I'm gonna ramp up my 401k. I feel that. Man, I'm too stupid to even know what a 401k is. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What did you say, Dark? How much did you think you made? Me? Yeah. Here, I'll type it out for you because you've asked me multiple times. All right, this is a weird conversation. I'm highly. I know it's weird it. for you because <laughs> that's what we're talking so about. Sexy. Your Sally. <laughs> seeing you squirm. I am. Uh... I know. This is the only. This is what makes Harry It doesn't sperm. matter. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. Like, stop. You just imagine I make 40000 You don't. No. I'm not going to imagine that. That's a lie. That's too much. That's what I'm going to make when I'm 30. 
You're making that when you're not even 20. 40,000's fine. You can live on 40,000. Not for how much I paid for college. I want to be making 80. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 40's fine if I was living in, like, Indiana. <laughs> I want to live somewhere interesting. Harry, you... St or not Harry. Uh, Jared, you still didn't mess with me. Message you what? You said you were going to mess with me how much Oh, I, I typed it in the ultra-exclusive VIP premium chat. Oh, wow. I have... I found some more liquor. I was about to say I drank all the liquor I had, but... You know, okay. Of all the stuff, <laughs> I am taking a, I am taking shots of ninety five dollar whiskey. Of all the stuff that I heard, of all the bullshit I heard, you know what makes me so mad right now? What this dude, this bitch. Warming? No, this bitch is not willing to pay for VR. <laughs> One thousand dollar VR. Listen, this is, you know why I'm squirming so much? Why? Because I'm a vain person, so I want, like, people to know I make a lot of money, but I don't want my They friends. want to leave it to the imagination. We all know, I, I don't we all know how much you make. We I don't all know how much you make. Why are you about. hiding it? What? If you were a friend we, here, you'd tell me how we, much you made. We, we all yeah. literally know how much what you made. What does it matter? What if I give you a number? Like, what is it? What matters? No, if anything, it pisses me off that you're hiding nothing, it. Just nothing why, about why it matters, you... which is why I want no, no, to know. No, no, no. You're, okay, you okay. The, what, 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 what makes right. me mad. Right. No. I guess I don't. What makes me mad is you're the guy who's way to go all the way. If anything, you say... In your own words, you never lied your entire life. You're that the person true. who no, said used to lie that you're willing to go no, all the way. Lie. If anything, I want the goofus, the hairy, to say in full front how the much goofus, he makes. The goofus, the hairy. I want the this goofus, man. I want this man to go full front, say, "Yeah, I make 250k. So what? Suck my dick." That's the man <laughs> I want to support. I'd be like, damn, dude, you go, girl. Damn. And the, and the fact that this oh, guy is shit. like, oh, I'm going so humble. Sit down, bitch. Tell I your feel price. Like, dude, I feel like if I found your Reddit account, I'd find posts on CS Career by saying, I this don't know, bitch... I got like offers from Alphabet no. and <laughs> this bitch, that? This bitch switches up his Reddit account every year. He Listen, does I can tell you don't... that I've gotten, uh, when I was looking for jobs, I got multiple offers, and I did not pick the one that made the most money. True. Why is that? Because uh, I didn't want to do that job. Yeah. I prefer the job I have now, and I, I can yeah. tell you it makes five figures less. No, no, no. Don't get me wrong. One. Don't get me wrong. If anything... Take this for heart, Harry. Of all the people that I've known in my life, you are the most inspirational because it's... you are the person. No, seriously. Honestly, no, seriously. I would agree with that. Hearing the stories seriously. about you going to the ghetto to donate blood so you could buy yeah. more dank. No, uh, okay, Jared, you are. I feel like you I are defeating the purpose. Something. Yeah, I don't get it. I, 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 I had to come to Jesus because moment. it's made me a good student. Okay, shut the fuck up. What I'm saying is like. <laughs> <laughs> you shut the fuck up, Joe. Fuck my dick, you drunk bitch. I'm <laughs> saying Harry it? has gone through a lot of shit. And the fact that he's made it through this far, it's really inspirational. It is. I feel I like it is. And the I fact know. that he's not willing to take it as inspiration is <laughs> really yeah. nice. So, uh, you just gotta, you just gotta go for shit, you know? Yeah. I didn't have it's to not transfer, that it's, it, 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 Dude, it. don't get me wrong. It's really not the easy. I remember you texting me. It's like saying that you applied to like so many jobs. And I was like, yeah. holy fuck. I, I cannot have like the mentality to do that shit. Nose to the grindstone. Today and the fact I that woke up at... I woke up, I basically rolled out of bed, like, rinsed my hair, and, like, ran, like, basically, like, got to work, like, because I, I felt like 
we had a meeting at like 10 and I woke up at like 9.30 and I was like, fuck. <laughs> so uh, like I, I got into work and then I like worked till six and then I had a board meeting with the other company um, that I'm on the board of uh, from seven to eight. And then we went out for drinks until 10 and then I got on. Do you so not you feel like gotta, you're... Just gotta hustle. Just gotta get out hustle. there and do shit. I feel did like... I need to do that third shot of $800 whiskey? Of course not. <laughs> but I did it because I'm a badass. I don't don't have that influence you. I feel like that really does. You just have... gotta... I don't know. I feel like you have to get rid of all the preconceived notions in your head. And you just have to, like, ask people for help. And you just have to, like, talk to people about what they do and what they're interested in. And you just have to tell people what you're interested like, in. And uh, you'll just get offered opportunities. Mm. You just gotta... But, no. Just gotta fucking no, 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 no. This bitch is still fucking undermining himself. You said you applied for a lot of jobs, right? How many jobs? Um... Uh... No, I didn't, I, I didn't apply for that many, um... How many? Uh, I actually I actually do need to know for my part. My my When I my was going to school here at UW, I worked full time at a startup, but I wasn't happy. So I, when I graduated, I started applying for jobs. Um, I I, I okay. I let know, me say I like, for like fifty maybe. That's not that many. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> I no, don't. No, no, no. That's not I that don't many. know anyone who does that. That's you not that okay? Let me just say you nonchalantly. That say, sounds like, about right. Yeah, for what, yeah. I I wait. applied to fifty people. That sounds about that's what right for what my dad did after he got laid off. But he's a fifty-five no. something dad that needs to support a family. No, but Man. what I'm saying is like people who are willing to take like those risks, like to accept their falses knowing that they're willing to at least at some point someone out there are willing to accept their 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 um <laughs> their i don't think the snapping's helping you joe just <laughs> think you got this they're willing to accept what they're what they're worth we'll do it but the thing the thing is i've only interviewed I think I've inter I've done like seven interviews and gotten like four job offers. So when I fucking go in yeah, for an interview, I get that fucking job. I remember you said you were, fl uh, you were flown to California and you were yeah. saying like that you had like three or four different uh, interviews and you were like freaked out as hell, wondering like how the fuck am I to answer how many windows are in new york or oh, something yeah. <laughs> that or was something. um that question which is bullshit i got but from, the fact that uh, you're able to Asana. make it through all that stuff wait what that Sorry. was in chicago i got that question in chicago but yeah i was flown out to california for the flexport interview the fuck's a flexport they do shipping um so like air or mm. sea based like shipping containers oh so like large scale yeah huge scale they're such a cool company i have like a, a fucking like i don't know like a weird crush on that company i don't know why mm, I get that. what i'm saying is like... they had a they had a conference um out on a a big barge out in the san francisco bay mm -hmm. <laughs> that's gotta be <laughs> what i'm saying is like harry has a lot of vigor in terms of trying He's to a like what? <laughs> what? I'm just joking. <laughs> I, it really resonated me when I talked to a guy who worked at NASA. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how you got this email. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that story. Oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. what? Well, he basically told me... Well, he told me a bunch of things. But basically, like, if you want to get a job at NASA, you send... A ton of people you find a bunch of people at nasa um and you send them emails and you say here's my resume i'm super interested in what you're doing 
Um, if you don't have any job postings, at least give me the name of somebody who does. So you send like 50 emails out and they either ignore it or get back to you with more emails to send. Like they go find a coworker. Oh, hey, my coworker has a position open. And then you get their email. And so so basically like you chain, like all of a sudden you're like getting emails and emails like to send to all over NASA. Makes me wonder, do, what do you want to work for down the line? Right now, I just want to make enough money to... Well, right, okay, right now I just want to learn. But I want to make a good amount of money so that I can pay off all my debts. How much debt do you owe? Uh, thousand dollars Oh, I, How much? I didn't know you were going to answer that on stream. <laughs> nah, that's not bad. How much? It's like average. I'm about 35. How much? I didn't hear it. 20,000, he 20. said. Okay. Oh, wow, that's actually not bad. Yeah. I, I went to school for five years. Just American things. And my parents have helped quite a bit. Oh, uh, yeah. For you, for at, at UW, at least. Don't worry about it. And I was working full time for two years. Yeah, that's impressive that you weren't full time while well, student full time. I yeah. can't do that. That sucked, Dick. I would not do that again. Yeah. I had I, I have a I have a classmate that does that and he's he's said that before he gets off work sometimes and then he goes back to Kenilworth to work on projects and it'll be so late that he'll just sleep on the floor at Kenilworth and wake up <laughs> the next morning to go to class at Kenilworth. <laughs> he sleeps at school because there's it's so late there's no point in going back. Home. I got super lucky that I met a bunch of people that were also transfer students, so they were at the same point in computer science as I was. So, and we had a bunch of classes together. So, like studying with other people, like and doing assignments with other people, and like sharing notes and stuff, made it so much easier. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> is it? <laughs> that's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> Yo, I yeah, I, I I'd, I'd say that's pretty good. That's pretty. Funny. I mean, uh, in my the, life, the weird I thing that I can't explain is, is going from being just a god off student to being a 4.0. Okay, me too. Honestly, me too. That's what that's what I find inspirational. Like me, I, I was the reverse. <laughs> when I first entered college, my first two years of college, I was putting my nose to the grindstone on projects and studying, and I got about a 3.6, 3.7. Yeah. Then after a while, I just stopped giving That's common. That's I, I just I just resented school, and yeah. I didn't take it seriously when I should have because I, um, I didn't realize that my projects I was doing weren't just grades. They were also going to be my portfolio pieces when I graduated. So now I'm kicking myself thinking, man, I got all these projects that yeah. I did, but... I'm gonna have to spend dozens of hours revising them to make them not look like shit. What I what I personally see is like with so much vigor, you're able to pers like achieve whatever you can, like as much as as corny as it is. Yeah. Like people do achieve it when they want to. Yeah. You said that you've gone through like 50 plus interviews. That shit is fucking insane. I was talking to Anthony. <laughs> And he's much of an entrepreneur, and he said he's gone through like what 20, 30 plus. But with you saying like 50, like plus people, eventually someone was willing to accept that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, just doing a lot of like research and putting in the effort. Yep. There's one more thing I want to point out, but I can't think of it right now. That's okay, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was... I did... What? Well, after I did my first year in school, and I got kicked out, literally kicked out, uh, academic probation, uh, I realized that uh, when I was like, I'd go out 
partying on weekdays and doing drugs like on the weekdays was like a big fucking problem so when i came back i said like if i do anything it's like only gonna be on the weekend yeah. and oh that, it it, oh, it, it evolved into i'm not gonna like do anything at all i'm not gonna like game past like 10 p.m i'm gonna like practice like what I, I call it isolation, <laughs> which I don't know if that's like a good term, you know, not, but like you know I like, me of? purposefully didn't go out, like, and I turned down like people like wanting like me wanting to go out with them, and, like just to like almost like an experiment, see like how good can I do in school if I like ignore everyone else, and that's like you know what? actually how I did really well in school <laughs> but it was like i don't know if it was like a great thing to do i do that just i just remembered by virtue of not having many friends <laughs> <laughs> I, ju I just remembered <sighs> i just uh, remembered like i was about 17 years old and one of my cousins not a distant cousin who visited me uh in my house and he was like a very distant, like not distant. He was like <clears throat> when I first met him. He was very like, uh, what's the word? There, mm. there, there just seemed like something off about him. A trans, about, like sort of he, floaty. Yeah, he was very floaty. Yeah, exactly. And and I was talking to him. And I was like wondering, like, what do you want to do? What's your plans? Because he was like one year older than me. He was like talking about like his aspirations in terms of, like art and other stuff. But I've noticed that like from the stuff that he was talking about, it didn't seem like that is what he wanted to go for. And fast forward today, <coughs> actually not fast forward today. Um, fast forward a, a year or so from that day, he, cause he was in community college at that time, he ended up in uh, the University of Chicago, Loyola, yep. or some sort of stuff. I was like, holy fuck, this dude's like wanting to pursue this stuff. <laughs> I know his parents was pushing this stuff for him i know his parents hated that he was playing like games and stuff yeah <laughs> i know he was like games <laughs> like literally the only thing i remember from him, grandchildren the only thing i the only thing i remember for this guy he was playing borderlands when i was playing with him or playing uh games around him i was playing like cod or something he was playing like Borderlands on his laptop and his mom or something was like I just keep on playing games fuck yeah. <laughs> um, but I could tell when I was like talking to him uh, this was actually in Thanksgiving because I was like wondering if he had some stuff in, like interested to buy for uh, Black Friday but he was talking about like how he was interested in artwork <laughs> um, he was very in depth of the stuff that was like posted in whatever threads that he was interested in. And I noticed that like there was like very, very deep vigor behind him. Like he had some, like he he knew what he wanted is what I'm saying. So fast forward three or four years. Or not three or four. Two or three years. This dude ends up in fucking MIT. Trying to... Pursue in neuroscience. My mom is just passing it off like, Oh, look at him. He's doing such a great job. For me, I'm like... Jesus, man. This dude is, has so much... Vigor... To, like, pursue in something... That is insane. <laughs> and from the way that I'm looking at now, today, this dude is gonna have a degree in neuroscience. And if anything, probably like 
be a doctor in that stuff. I don't know what he's trying to pursue in, but... Like, I don't know. There's, there's some parallels between, like, him and you that, like, someone who... I remember being, um, like, 2013 after we had won that Smite. I had been playing so much fucking Smite. Uh, and we won that tournament. And I told my parents, like, we had gotten this offer. Or I personally had gotten this offer from um, Cognitive Gaming. Um, Brad, uh, the owner, mm -hmm. and he had offered me a spot on their team. And they, they said it was, like, $400 a month. And I went to my parents and I was like, dude, I got this offer, man. I could play video games. They give me, like, <laughs> 400 bucks a month, man. Fuck. Uh. I thought I the restore. I had like no concept of money at this point. <laughs> I was like uh -huh. 400 Wait, how old bucks, were you? bro. How old were you? <laughs> like nine, 18, 19? Yo, bro, I get an apart a sick apartment for like a hundred dollars a month, <laughs> man. Spend maybe like twenty dollars a month on groceries. Yeah. Little did I know, cognitive. Ga I mean, I don't. I don't think that would have went anywhere. I. I don't think I. I think I was at my best at that point. And I don't think I was getting any better, but. Uh, Cognitive Gaming signed Mewtwo King. Um, Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, he was their Smash player. The Cognitive yeah. Gaming ended up going on to win the Smite World Championship for the first year. $100,000. Uh, Damn. Like, they were a sick team at that point. And I was like, 400 bucks a month, bro. This I'm set, man. Like, this is it. <laughs> I look back on that, I like, cringe so hard. Like, I thought, like, fuck, dude, this is amazing. I was playing on, like, a laptop. Now it's, like, 400 bucks a month. I don't know if 400 bucks a fucking week would be not great. That's what's reminding me right now. Like, <laughs> you've gone through so much shit at some point, like, you're enjoying yourself. You don't remember. Actually, give me a second. I gotta take a piss. <laughs> All great thoughts were pre were uh, preceded by a bad piss. <laughs> That's true. Or a fat nut. Before entering the Roman Senate, they just had a big trough outside. You had to take a fat piss before you got in. <laughs> Are you, um, are you still downloading? Yes. It's about 60, 65%. Really? What's your, yes. um, speed? 6.4, uh, 6, uh, 6 6.8 megabytes a second. Could just like plug your guitar into there or like your amp in your computer mm -hmm. just like the harder you played like the more metal you played the faster it went <laughs> that would be sick <laughs> that would be and you, dope. you just have to like jam like mad max style for like four hours and you could get that download done <laughs> you're like hands are raw at the end but you're like the first person to get the game downloaded. <laughs> I believe the notable thing about Johnny Ramon is that he was the um, lead guitarist for the Ramones and he would play like Jimmy Page. Um, only on the downstroke. Mm. I believe that was his style. I hear you verify that. Yeah, there is a tonal difference between an upstroke and a downstroke. An upstroke is a little bit more harsh, and it does. I feel like it just 
has a different sort of energy to it in terms of sound. Right. Guitar technique. Um, Johnny was notable for solely using downstrokes for the entirety of his career, as well That's... as a full six-string <laughs> oh. uh, bear chord. But bar, bar chords, yeah. Bar chord. Yeah, that's like a that's a really <laughs> common <laughs> punk thing. High gain to tone on his guitar oh. amplifier. Yeah, that sounds like punk. Oh. A lot of punk bands are like, all right, you know how to make a bar chord? Yeah. Do you know three chords? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, you're in a punk band. <laughs> He's the, OG. the people, the people from uh, Robin Gristle were like, a lot of people said, oh, you need to know oh, three back. chords and then you're in a punk band. Well, our thought line was, why even learn chords? <laughs> and then they made like fucking crazy ass music. And then like, Johnny's definitely like a top ten guitarist. Yeah. Why do you laugh the way that you do, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's. I, don't know. I think that's just a parental thing. I laugh a lot like my parents. I, like, uh, listen, Joe, we don't need to create an environment in which we're afraid to laugh. That would ruin the whole Discord channel. Because I know that my, uh, my dad and my mom do this thing where when they're done laughing, they go, <sighs> Yeah, you do that a lot. I know. I do that almost every time I laugh really hard. I have to, even now that I just laugh, I had to, I had to tell myself not to do it. <laughs> What do you think is the ideal laugh? Like, no, what is like no, the the there, German? There is no, there is no ideal the, laugh. The Nazis have won the war. Eugenics is very popular. What is the perfect, like, Aryan laugh? No, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> there is no. See Aryan. that? I don't think is it. <laughs> Just listen to what Drake sounds like when he laughs. You want like a rich man's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a real person's laugh right now. See, I think the unique thing about laughs is that they're unique, right? Yeah. 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 And what sucks is when you have a laugh that's bad. No, not have bad. You, I have can you tell never heard a person whose laugh just makes you go, shut, shut the fuck up? <laughs> no, I can tell. There was uh, somebody. Jimmy Carr. All right. No, that one I'm fine with because that's just funny. <laughs> He's like a he's like a bird. <laughs> there was a girl yeah, that would eat at the Sandberg Cafe all the time. But she had this. And every it. time I was eating with like Corey or fucking <laughs> Anthony, we'd just look at each other like, "Come on, how are you real?" I remember, wait, you, I feel like you put in the Discord a, a while ago that uh, Freebird guy's still there, but we never talked about it. Freebird! <laughs> oh my god, I forgot about him. I honestly don't oh know god. when he studies, because he's there <laughs> till like 2 a.m. every night. You, Jared, you have to Dude. talk to him now. Yeah, you yeah. are obliged to talk to him. You should be Ask him about everything. <laughs> that talking about the crazy, fucking crazy <laughs> dude. <laughs> It's so Hello. You're missing out on. Every Wait, he's still there? single, every single goddamn girl. Hello. Does he, does he talk to the sure. hot chicks? Sure. Yes. Sure. He's, still he's still there. He's still there. He was at oh. part two tonight. Really? He. <laughs> he's still there. Three this years guy's a counting. legend now. Oh my God. I'm talking to all these guys down More there. Than three years. <laughs> Yeah, that's really interesting, Kyle. Yeah, they're talking about the fucking. You know his name. You know his name. Yeah, his name's Kyle Fitzpatrick. I've, I've, he's bought stuff at the restore, so I know his first name from seeing his ID. Dude, man. I, I would, I would. Um, does he buy like condoms and like? Oh. <laughs> Tons of lube. 
It's the craziest <laughs> thing would, he bought. That would be interesting. No, he would just buy like fairly innocuous stuff like a soda or candy. What or if he was actually like banging some of those really hot chicks he talked to? He would be a pity fuck. Oh, it would no. be, but, but you'd still be jealous though. I yeah. would be. I don't know. I would be too. The sex would probably be awful. The pity Doesn't is matter. the fact Head that sucks. he's willing. <laughs> yes, I still never I would listened say the to that pity song. is that this dude's willing to go up to a girl and that's true, like, like a hot girl. He's and got have sex with her. That that yeah. is true. That's admirable. That's just nuts. But but he only has that Jared's confidence silent. because he's literally <laughs> incapable of like understanding. Yeah, he doesn't understand social rejection at all. Right, right. Like, he's got, like, literal autism. That's the real <laughs> shit like... right there. <laughs> Who do you know is I remember the shit? one time he asked me what my name was. I was really tempted to say something what? like, Vyacheslav. Or, like... Why did he okay. ask you that? I don't know. I was like, <laughs> damn, context? am I looking good today? Am I looking hot? Like, <laughs> why is he talking... Why is he talking to me? Do you think oh he's God. a threat to any of those women? Uh, he's definitely, like, moderate harassment because he just yeah. follows girls he around is. and talks to them all the time. And I and feel I like they're like, haha, you know, like, nice to yeah, see you. But they yeah. low-key don't fucking want him and, to, like, and talk to them. he will remember girls' names oh, and yeah. refer to them yeah. by their names. It's oh, so yeah. creepy. He, he, he will, like, literally pull his chair up to, like, a table of those girls. At, like, what have poems. you done, Jared? What? What have you done? What have I done? <laughs> yeah, compared to this dude, he's yeah. compared literally to who are you? Gone through so <laughs> out of his way to get. He to know single-handedly all people. wrecked the fucking arcade machine that was <laughs> so much. There was a whole semester where the like the buttons and the joystick were just ripped out of the machine. <laughs> I don't know if he's the one who broke it, but why he is was... he called Freebird? Because, because he would just reference, he would just say Freebird sometimes. Yeah, he did. Oh, is he it like say it, like play Freebird or whatever? Isn't that like it's a Freebird? Uh, isn't that no, like a actually, no. Reference? He just straight up say Freebird, and I don't know why. I think it's like a reference. I actually don't know why he says Freebird. Yeah, I actually don't know. Simpler times. Where did those people end up? Hmm. Like five years from now. Like Freebird? Yeah. Probably working at a fast food restaurant. That's true. That's true. But, do you, but do you, how do you think they feel? Are they happy? Uh, they feel. Content. Is he just? He's just like on coast. I would say they feel content, He's but they don't know. They feel content, but they don't know why. Is what I mean to think. Is it worse to know the names of and talk to hot chicks all day, and not be anywhere near a relationship or having you sex have to be or casual encounter? Very. You have to be very out of your mental to know why. Yeah. But it, but I'm like saying, is it more, know, is it like more depressing feel, talking to them and not that not going anywhere versus just? I not feel like to, this dude knows why. I feel like this dude knows why. That's why he's like after three years is going out. Of you you don't think he ever thinks? Why don't these girls ever want to talk to me or like ever? I come feel like back there's like some sort of. I feel like there's some sort of like expense like or not this expense. Or does he there's just a, not there's, give a there's fuck. a trade-off he's like yeah i talk to hot chicks all day i'm sick obviously he does not give a fuck because he's been going that's at true. it for like three years that's true but the fact that like if he were to work at a place like it's completely depleted i feel like for him he would know exactly as to why that's not happening i feel right like now. he'd be a good employee he would be yeah he he but works for the fucking for Palm Palms, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah cashier. Yeah, yeah he does. There. Yeah he does. Yeah I remember that. I, what I'm saying is like I feel like he wouldn't understand as to why like these hot or not hot girls. But... 
No, they, he understand. usually only talks to the hot girls. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He's it's looking not every out girl. for them. It's he literally, knows, it's not every he knows girl. a hot girl when he sees them. It's true, he does. So He doesn't talk to every girl. Yeah. He does. He, he does. It really is only like the popular like cheerleader type girls. Yeah. So he knows exactly what he's looking for. Which is funny. Which he's also taking advantage of his autisticness. And it's not working. So I think it's 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 just part of his autism that he just doesn't it, it, he, it's a mix of it. He just he knows they're hot. He doesn't know social interaction. So if anything, that's the sad story behind it. Like he's not yeah. gonna know why like he can't get with these hot girls more than like anyone else. So he will figure that out at some point when he's working at like a G GF yeah, that or, is uh, that is CBS. rough. He'll never be it able is. to settle for someone who is like good, per, good for him. He he will settle with someone. I don't know. Not gonna lie, because he think? doesn't like socially understand. That, 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 okay, that's that's the his, thing I'm his, saying. Like, like talking ego. out of your ass. It like I feel he, like he, it's okay. Sorry, that's go ahead. that's that that's that's the point where like he could and he can't. He doesn't know his lead. Like, I don't know him that much that he would be willing to, like, find someone out there who is not that hot and willing to accept that, like, hey, maybe she's good enough, you know? I don't think I don't think he'll ever accept that. You don't? No. I like, the way that you're thinking of it, the way he, that I'm seeing, the way that you're thinking of it is like an really absolute. He thinks he the way that you that The way that you're thinking about for him is like it's an absolute he's looking for a hot chick he is. who will fucking bang he is. and stick with him and I know that he's willing to look for that but yeah. do you think he will? No. no never no but what I'm seeing is like would he be willing to find someone who's good enough he's honestly oh god now this is weird now I really want to know who's. He's who not this. the. I'm gonna say he's not the worst looking. No, he's not. Like he's mentally got disabled glasses. person. Yeah. So if I was like a really hot chick and it was like a pity fuck, it wouldn't be like the end of the world. But Dude, no, I don't you think have that's to be a. Gonna a that's never gonna no, happen. No, 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 no. You have no to way. be. He's such a weird guy. What's What's the word that you're he's obsessed too weird. with sex? Uh, nymphomaniac? Nympho. You have to be a nympho, dude, for this shit. Yeah, you would. You'd have to be a, a weird chick, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm willing to fuck a retard. But, I, but the, I think that he thinks he's really hot. And he won't settle for a girl. Like, a B-level girl, even. If he says he's got laid once, I would believe it's because of I kind of would believe it. Wanting, yeah. I would say he got laid because some nympho was yeah. attracted to it. I mean, I guess if you put yourself out it, there, you would have every to literally day. talk to so many girls. And he does. He literally order, does. Yeah, he <laughs> I does. feel like he, if for his case, it's just like a toddler brain thing. Oh, yeah. I see that. I want that. I'm gonna yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, no, he, he doesn't want it. He's looking for anything right now. I mean. Hats off. And if, if, <laughs> I mean, if, if, if there's anything, you take all the chances, you will find something. Yeah, exactly. And one of those somethings is a nympho. He, no he's, matter he's what going for size like the, the throw a thousand rage. darts technique. Like yeah. to hit the bullseye. <laughs> like this like literally this nympho could be whatever size that you can imagine. Maybe he thinks like he can get a hot girl if he just tries for like three years every single day. That's the saddest part, dude. Like, you go for that much. I mean, how far But everybody does... knows him. From, like, day, like, five. Everybody knows him. How far is this dude... How far is this dude willing to go to, Do like, you think a chick would, sort of would, connection? would sleep with him just to, like, tell her friends, like... As no. A, no. I don't know, like, as a joke no. or something? Hell no. 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 
No. No woman but, of, yeah. of that pedigree he talks to would be willing to do that. Yeah. But I'm not a woman, but if I were, I would say no. But if I were, I wouldn't know. But, I mean, could they get that freaky to amount that they would admit it? I wonder Maybe. how good he would be in bed. Would you? Like, me, like he like definitely has some sort of like Asperger's or like autism or whatever. You're but willing I'm to think that this fucking dude do you think would, he would go shoot, to his primal instinct to Do you think he would shoot his woman? load like immediately? No. You don't think so? No. Oh dude, my he's god. So you, are, you are going in depth. Dude, he's such you a You are virgin. going in depth. And I want to go in depth too. He's such I a don't virgin. think he would. He's so thirsty. I think he would shoot his load the second the woman no. took her clothes off. Nobody. Die, nobody. Stop a load of death. You Nobody think, in you, the you, face of land you would do that. You think he'd be that. an animal in bed? <laughs> He's just like four yes, minutes. Yes, actually, yes, Constant he would be. Constant energy. He got yeah, that I, if anything, cock. I feel like that <laughs> Is he's it like giving... retard strength? I feel like that <laughs> he's giving... <laughs> he's got that retard dick. I feel like that he's giving... I feel so end... bad for saying that. That's not funny. <laughs> no, you definitely invented that, Jared. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, no, that's I don't want to be associated Fer Ferris with this. TM original. No. I feel like that he's giving <laughs> the entrance to, to go all out. <laughs> I feel like the fact that he's willing to go all out I'm going to send him a letter that you partner. said that with a picture of you attached. Very James Ferris. <laughs> picture attached. Also works for university, by the way. <laughs> He works at the movie theater. He said you had retard dick strength. <laughs> Yo, Harry. Oh, my uh, cod just finished, by the way. Yo, Harry, how much do you make? <laughs> I'm gonna keep asking you this. So like, I don't make after... enough to big dick chicks as much as Freebird does. I don't care how much you big dick. I care about <laughs> how much you make. No, you shouldn't. Literally, it doesn't okay, matter. Let, okay, okay, okay. Let me let me put it this way. I only care about the answer. I don't care about any of the results. Forty thousand. <laughs> that is bullshit. Wait, really? Just yeah, just imagine. No. <laughs> That's like twice as much as I make in. Like over here, which is not believable. <laughs> forty thousand is good. When I was a kid, I thought forty thousand is like that's what like my dad probably makes. Like that's like a career like level salary. I thought forty was like the, the big dick energy. That's actually very interesting. I'm honestly wondering why you're holding. I had like no concept. This much. You don't hold this much concept of money yet. You don't want to expose to how much you make. <laughs> I just don't want to say because I make like <laughs> you're holding it right now. You don't want to say. <laughs> you're, if anything, there, I see some parallels to Wubby. Like you don't want to say how much you make. And if anything, oh, yeah. like people who make a, a shit ton of money do not want to know. say how much they make. It's no, if anything, interest. you you make streamer money, but you don't want to say. Oh, God, yeah. So why is that? Because uh, it always makes if people anything, feel like different. Insignificant? About you. No, no, no. I it don't always, care. People think different. Of I don't care. Actually, let me let's go to a different. Like, no, because I know Jared I'm not doesn't want to care. Huh? I'm not gonna. Say huh? There's no. There's no. There's nothing you can say. There's no scenario in which I say. Yep. Oh, I, I would respect you... that. I respect. No, you don't. <laughs> Jared, you're the one who makes the most jokes out of this. <laughs> I do, but that's because I think the concept of making him uncomfortable is funny. Not because I <laughs> desperately need to know how much he made. <laughs> do you, though? It's not a I... game, though. It's weird. It always makes, like, my relationship with other people, like, weird. After yeah, that. I can get that. I get that. Yeah, you said that, like, six months ago, and I'm still wondering. 
For me, it's more like if I had a friend where, like, we've gone to a water park together and I've seen, like, the outline of his massive dick. Okay, if it helps. <laughs> or his swimsuit. Okay. But okay. every time I ask him, how big's your dick? He's like, dude, I don't want to tell you. It's I'd rather say the exact millimeter Harry, how long my helps, dick is. Harry, if it I'd helps I'd rather for send me, you a picture of my dick. <laughs> no, I don't. Bet, Harry, bitch. <laughs> for me, if it helps as you. a... If I it would. helps as a human, I would like to know. Just because I like to know six point three who inches. people are. Not what? <laughs> Damn. I would like to know like who no, or, like, that what number these people up, I are. Measured. <laughs> I it's been a while, dude, but my fat <laughs> makes my dick smaller. <laughs> Six point three, holy shit! <laughs> That's not a real number. Weight. I don't know how long it is. My fupa is <laughs> swallowing my shaft. Okay, <laughs> let me let me think of what Harry's would be. Five point eight. I'm oh thinking. Oh god, no, it's longer than that. Five longer. What is that? What the fucking difference between six point four and five point eight? Not that much. Half an inch. <laughs> six point two. Know. Have you looked at how small an inch is? You're a 6.2? You're already longer than me. I would have to, like, get hard and measure myself right now. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I got time. Oh my god. You go ahead. If go ahead. anything, <laughs> this is another thing. I, I love seeing how vulnerable he sounds right now. I just want to know how much you make. Highly it turns you on, doesn't it, Joe? You like it. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> Dude, okay, let me... Just let me know right now. I just need to know. For the sake of me. To right, go to um, bed. I gotta get to right now. <laughs> Harry. I already you like told me? you there's nothing you can say. There's nothing I can say. Nope. And you'll be happier because of it. See, we can have a normal relationship. Not knowing how no, much each other's make. No, 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 no. I would be happy. I would idea, be happy if you made more than me. The idea is already implanted. Therefore, I need to know. It's. It will linger, even when I'm sober. <laughs> it will keep on going. It will resonate <laughs> for like further months. How much? See, that's your made? problem, though. No, 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 it's not my problem, but it's a question that I will forever wonder every other month. Like, oh, how much is my, like, cause, okay, here's the thing. I make Harry amount. says, Harry says he just afforded, um, I don't know, some sort of lights that's <laughs> something beyond me. And in my head, I'm like, Holy shit, how can he afford that? But, if I can know, like, oh, he's made this much. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, he, he recorded it. Good job. The money isn't as big of a factor as, like, enjoying my job. Let me switch like, shoes work. for a second. Okay, how would you imagine if you were in my shoes? You're putting me in the dark. What would you start wondering? Actually, that's probably a bad question because you wouldn't know. You're already, you already are what you are. So how would you be able to know how I feel right now? I was thinking so, about this er literally earlier today. So, so let me put this w this way before I go to bed. I will keep asking this question when I'm drunk. It could be a, another month. It could be two months from now. It will linger. You will tell me. But I'll let you know. I don't care how much you make. But the fact do, I do though. like you I am do. a competitor. I am what I'm saying is I am a competitor. See, I want people to know. say they don't care, but they do care. I don't care, but I'm also a competitor. So I want to know for the fact of knowing <laughs> because <laughs> I'm don't. competitive of knowing. If that makes sense. Actually, that's really weird to put it that way, but... <laughs> like, even if you tell me, I wouldn't care. You could message me without, like, letting Jared know. 
I thought earlier today, I think I was on the bus, if, um, if we were, like, in any way hiring for a video editor, I would definitely try super hard to get you the job. Really? Yeah. I was even thinking, like, I was imagining the scenario, I'd be like, oh, we gotta hire my friend Joe for this. I appreciate it. He's, like, super good. But why are you telling me this if it's not happening? <laughs> well, cause... just one stop. Say, <laughs> that reminds me of a Louis C.K. bit when he was on an airplane and he saw like a veteran was like walking back um, to the. I, um, I know why you're telling the me the passenger this because, area. Like, you want to sound like you care. He was walking back no. to the passenger area and Louis C.K. went, "Man, I should give up my seat for him." Of course I didn't, by the way. It was just something I thought to myself in the moment to make me go, I am such a nice person. That's bullshit. That's not why I thought. I was on the bus. This is before any of this conversation. All right. Okay. I believe I, Harry. And I, would I believe him. I would legitimately try to get you hired over anyone else. Seriously, like, I believe Harry so much. I don't know why he's hiding his salary. <laughs> like, seriously, if anything... Anyone who's truthful about all, what they're doing, I go behind. I wonder how long before you guys start turning on me now. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude, I would have turned on you like years away from this. <laughs> I don't know why you're thinking. Like, it's a number, okay? It doesn't matter. It's not a number though. It's not a competition. It's, it's so not dumb a competition because like, either. computer science, like. The nature of my job is like really hot right now, and like it makes a lot of money, but it, it doesn't matter. You're saying it doesn't matter. Like 15 years from now, like oh, gr like graphic design could be like the hot shit. They could make like uh, five hundred thousand dollars. Like I fucking hope, but I doubt it. Okay, yeah, I, I, would be, it, art. I would be totally happy if you guys made more than I did. Does it help that I use your number as a reference? Least. Does it help for you to have like a specific number? Of reference for what I want to make in, like what I in. Oh, hold on. In Try my that profession, again, Joe. in my profession, <laughs> in my profession, would it help to know how much you're making in terms of what I'm? I would want to make. Not really. Why is I'm that, Jerry? I'm gonna say not really because his job is in STEM and requires, quite frankly, a much more rigorous academic. Uh, fucking uh course load okay i believed you yours but... is mainly conceptual like okay not why is so that much on why the... is that because he needs to know math on a really kind of advanced level to make sure the programs he's making are structurally sound every Whereas day Phil... what every day every what do you mean every day he needs to know every conceptual math equation to like figure out a fucking <laughs> you didn't say that okay <gasps> oh my god joe I'm, i want to have this conversation with you but i think you're a little too far gone to have it right now no i know what you're talking about um i need, I need to, to know i need to know five, i need to get five search and destroy wins for my challenge anybody want to go with me no i'm done Oh, and I love how they made the quick play button way bigger. <laughs> yeah, right. They added, like, a little picture there. I honestly like that because, like, that's one of the most important buttons on there. It is. All right. I'm at a point it's, right now. It's funny, like, though. You, you got to think, like, they must have had a meeting where they talked about that. I'm at a point right now. Like, am I pushing too hard? All in is favor this, of is this, is button this by 80% say aye. Is this asking too much? <laughs> I already told you there's nothing you can say. It's just a thing where I just don't say. It's just a if thing. If you don't tell me how much you make, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> I'm going to do a Rudy Tooty point and shooty. <laughs> Blam. Treat it like shit. <laughs> I still love that. Yeah. With the slam, what you going to do now? 
Slam a bacham 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 bricky bricky. Slam a bacham bacham the wicky bricky dicky damn and the slam but down with the wicky. Man, Howland has told me stories when he went to Greenfield High School and he knew people that were white trash enough to listen to Limp Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> He told stories about getting a middle school when they would have like festivals in the park. Like, I didn't even know what alcohol tasted like when I was in middle school. <laughs> I, I think you I, barely I, knew what it tasted like when I met you. To be honest, the first time I actually <laughs> got drunk was one time we were hanging out at Kyle's place and we had like <laughs> vodka and Pepsi, and I drank and I oh, I, yeah. I was drinking it. And I was just watching, what were we watching, like Top Gun or something? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't have no clue. Top Gun or something. And I just remember feeling, whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? Whoa. This is, uh, no, no, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah. Am I drunk? Is this the alcohol? <laughs> Yo, this is freaky. And then we would, yeah. I remember. That's we, back we when would... we'd go to like the, the 7-Eleven and just get like a mixer. <laughs> yeah, we would, they got a Slurpee. <laughs> For our, for our Mount Gay rum. <laughs> yeah. I still never got over the fact that it was Mount Gay. <laughs> Mount Gay is good Yo, shit. I meant yeah, to click on bad. settings and I accidentally clicked in stream. I, like, um, I clicked way too early, Joe, are Sorry. you going to play with us? What are you doing? Uh, yeah. so we're going to do search and destroy. Yeah, yeah, one's good. Yeah, there you go. Uh oh. Yeah, I can. I'll be history. Yes, I will straight up bleed your shit. And you'll be the one who's left missing me. Yeah! This time I'ma let it all come out. This time I'ma stand up and shout. I'ma do things my way. It's my way. My way of the highway. This time I'ma let it all come Wait, I'm not in a party. What? Yeah, I invited you. Can you just join mine? Yeah. Okay. Harry, I don't need. I hope you know I can't rest oh. easy without hearing the answer. Joe, I think you need to stop. <laughs> this will go for a month. Wait, what happened? All right, I accidentally went to the main menu. And now. <laughs> I have the to fuck? wait three years for my game to look back and <laughs> Yeah, I'm there. seeing that too. Oh, oh, no, it's my shaders are being optimized for multiplayer. Oh my god. I'll be honest, like, this game was pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back for me. Why don't you <laughs> want to tell me? I can't. Relax. Stop. Bro. Why Why don't you want to tell me? Oh, it shows what game modes we're queuing for too. That's nice.